Hi everyone, uh, today onwards I am going to uh, show you how to do Python coding in especially the machine learning algorithms in terms of TensorFlow 2.0. So as the first step, today I am going to show you how to uh, create a simple linear regression model using this TensorFlow 2.0. So I am going to use PyCharm as my Python editor to do this uh, coding. So first, the first thing that you need to do is you have to import these Python libraries. And as a first step, uh, for you have to install the latest version of the TensorFlow because uh, some of the functions in this uh, code will not work for uh, previous versions of TensorFlow. So it is important that first you need to download and install the latest version of the TensorFlow. So after that you, you can import these uh, uh, libraries pandas, numpy, TensorFlow and these uh, scikit learning modules. So after that you can import the data set. So here I am going to use this uh, Kegel's data set. Uh, one of the data set in this Kegel's website, which is called this admission data set. So later I will uh, post the link to access this data set also. So you can import this data set as a pandas uh, data frame using this uh, pd dot read underscore csv function. After that, just to have a feel of this data set, you can just print the uh, head of this data set and the shape of the data set. So now you can see that in this data set contain nine variables and a 500 rows. So basically it contains the uh, information about the admission status of college students. So it contain variables like GRE score, TOEFL score, cumulative GPA likewise. Next what I am going to do is I am going to select the uh, continuous features in this data set uh, especially the variables like uh, GRE scores, uh, TOEFL scores, university rating, SOP, LOR and cumulative GPA and I am going to scale these uh, values by dividing it by 100. So then after that I am going to select the categorical features in this data set which is called this research uh, variable. So you can do this by assigning these two variables like this and using this curly bracket you can access the variables that you need to uh, select. And using this dot values function uh, option you can only uh, select the variables by removing the indexes of those uh, variables. After that, I am going to uh, concatenate these continuous features and uh, categorical features so that I have my x variable with the combination of these continuous features and these categorical features. So I use this concatenate uh, function in this uh, numpy package. Since I am concatenate this uh, horizontally, I have I use this axis equals one, and after that I uh, assign this y as my dependent variable or my target variable, which is here. Uh, so here I am going to predict the uh, chance of admit based on this uh, independent variables. All right. So after that, uh, since I am going to create a machine learning model uh, for this uh, linear regression algorithm, I need to uh, split my data set into training and testing data. So in order to do that, I am going to use this 
a trend underscore test underscore speed function using this scikit learning and here you need to specify what is your um, feature variable and what is your target variable and also you need to specify your uh, test size so you can play this around uh, with this number for an example if you want to get a more a larger test size then you can you may be equal this to 0.4 likewise after that what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, separate my training data and test data so in order to do that I'm going uh, I'm going to use this tf dot constant function in my uh, tensorflow package so here I use this constant function because these variables will not change later because uh, the values will not change later so uh, so because of that I use this tf dot constant function so here as the first step I assign my training data so here I assign training features and uh, training labels into x and y after that uh, I assign so based on these training features and training labels that I obtained from my previous step from here and also I am going to assign my uh, test data separately like this so here my test data and here my training data based on the uh, train underscore test underscore speed function which I uh, used previously so now I am going to explain the rationale behind my regression model so let's say I have this uh, simple regression model where y is equals to mx plus c so in this case my x is the independent variable and y is the response variable and c is the constant so you can rewrite this same thing in terms of y is equals to wx plus b so here w is the weight of the independent variable and b is the bias term of this function so you can write this regression function which is h of x comma w comma b is equals to wx plus b so this regression function contains three parameters the first parameter is independent variable and the second parameter is the weight and the third parameter is the bias terms here the mean squared error is the uh, sum of the uh, errors divided by the total sample size since here we are going to use this gradient descent algorithm we need to find the derivatives of this loss function with respect to parameters so here there are two types of parameters if you recall this uh, formula there are two types of parameters the first one is the weight and the second one is the bias so we need to find the derivatives of this loss function with respect to w and with respect to b so you can do that using this chain rule approach so you can find a derivative of this loss function with respect to a w using this formula and also you can find the derivatives of this loss function with respect to b using this formula and i'm going to implement this formulas in python using a tensorflow 2.0 so now I have created three functions uh, as I told previously so the first function is to find the mean squared error and the second function is to find the derivative of the mean squared error so using this derivative of the mean squared error I can find the uh, optimal parameters using the uh, gradient descent algorithm that means I can find the optimal values for the weights and the optimal values for the bias after that using those values I can find the regression function based on this third function so after that now I am going to train my model so here I am going to use 10 epochs and number of samples as the number of rows in my data set and batch size as 10 and also the learning rate is equals to 0 0.001 so initially I 
had uh, x and y separately so now i am going to combine those tensors to uh, to create a single data set using this uh, tf dot data dot data set dot from uh, this function after that uh, in order to randomize my process i am going to uh, shuffle these uh, rows in order to randomize my process after doing that next i am going to initialize my weights and biases using this code over here then i use these two core uh, core segments to uh, plot my mean squared error with respect to number of epochs so i am going to use this uh, epochs underscore plot and loss underscore plot uh, later in order to plot my mean squared error with respect to a number of epochs so using this for loop i am going to uh, calculate my gradient descent algorithm where where i am going to calculate these derivatives of my loss function with the functions that i uh, calculate uh, obtain or define previously and based on those derivatives i am going to update my weights and biases accordingly so so at the end of the day i will find the optimal weights and optimal biases in the same for loop i am going to calculate i mean i am going to store the mean squared error for each of the epoch so that i will be able to uh, plot this mean squared error with respect to number of epochs later so to do that uh, i use this array to uh, store the mean squared error with respect to each epoch like this so after that using this uh, matplotlib uh, library in python i am going to uh, plot this uh, mean squared error and the uh, number of epochs and also i am going to show uh, calculate the accuracy that means the mean squared error for each and every uh, epoch so if i run this code you will see now i have obtained the loss for each of the epochs so now you can see as the epochs uh, increases this loss will decrease So you can play with these uh, parameters over here so that you will be able to get the optimal results. And this is my uh, mean squared error with respect to number of epochs. So now you can see that as number of epochs increases, the mean squared error will also decrease.